I'm Keiji Shirai, a safety advisor in Japan. This lecture video is for foreigners in Japan. This time, I will talk about toilet measures in the event of a major earthquake, which is rarely talked about. I will explain why toilet measures are necessary in the event of a major earthquake. The East South Sea earthquake is expected to be about the same as the Great East Japan earthquake in 2011. When the Great East Japan earthquake struck, electricity and water supply were restored about a month after the earthquake. If you cannot live in your house when a huge earthquake strikes, you will be forced to live in a shelter. But life in a shelter is far from safe and comfortable in every respect. It goes without saying that if you can live, your home is the most comfortable and the safe place. However, even if you live at home, you cannot use the flush toilet because you cannot use electricity or water. You can't even wash your hands. On the other hand, Excretion is caused by the action of automatic nerves that humans cannot control by their own will. It's a serious problem that we have to deal with. In this lecture, I will use the abbreviation from Japanese large, stool, and small, urine. This is to reduce the feeling of psychological pressure as much as possible. It is a table of contents. The main purpose of this lecture is 6. Practical practice. The largest aim is to maintain proper hygiene. Most of large is water, but the rest are bacteria, viruses, and microorganisms which give off a strong putrid odor and cause many illnesses. And although there are few bacteria in the small, the smell of ammonia is strong. Large and small seals and isolations are important for good hygiene and comfort. Excretion is out of control. A person excretes about 200 grams of large, one or two times a day, and about 1,500 milliliter of small, six to seven times a day. The timing of excretion is controlled by the automatic nerves and cannot be controlled by the will of the person. Electricity will also stop in the event of a huge earthquake. The toilet is dark even in the daytime and pitch black at night. The best excretion environment is to use a familiar toilet in a familiar environment. And of course, you need lightning. In the unlikely event that the toilet is damaged, you have to secure an appropriate space and use a simple toilet. There are many options for lighting, but a two-way LED flashlight that can be used by a single AA battery has outstanding performance and cheapness, 110 yen. Please have a look at the photos. The power of two-way LED flashlight is enough. Minimize as much as possible to simplify the task. If you want to use the existing flash toilet, you need six items in bold letters. There are many similar products on the market, but I chose the one with a certain effect. Rubber gloves and masking tape are available at any 100 yen shop. There are rubber gloves that fit your fingers perfectly, but they are expensive. Polyethylene 
bags are also available at 100 yen shops, but they are only 0.013 mm thick. A thin bag can be torn just by touching something. You can put large and small ones in, so you can rest assured that you have thick ones. Research, which can be used for both deadalization and sterilization, is a popular product of Kao Corporation and is often used by nursing care specialists. A deodorant spray that is recognized by professionals as having a reliable effect. Asthma Kogyo's coagulant and deodorant is an excellent coagulant that can be stored for 15 years. Also, it is a coagulant. It also has a deodorizing effect and is suitable for large and small storage. Boss Corporation is a long-established deodorant bag maker. It is a deodorant effect that is recognized by long-term care professionals. I will explain the work procedure in detail with hygiene in mind. It may be surprising to make a piece of masking tape first, but it's much easier to tear off the tape before putting on the gloves. Here is an image. At night, it's pitch black in front of the toilet. So you go to the toilet with flashlight. If you install a flashlight in front of the toilet and turn it on, you can use both hands when working. Gloves are also provided outside the toilet and worn there. At that time, be sure to check for tears. After opening the door in the toilet, turn on the two-way flashlight and close the door. If you leave the outside flashlight on, you will know that the toilet is in use. When using for the first time, attach the waterproof bag. This is to prevent the large and small bag from getting wet with the water accumulated in the toilet bowl. Hold both bridges at the mouth of the bag to let air in and make it easier to cover the toilet. The method is the same for large and small bag. Stop at four places with curing tape. At that time, fix the lever with curing tape so that you don't accidentally turn the washing lever. You can leave the waterproof bag as it is for two to three weeks. The waterproof bag is fixed to the outside of the toilet bowl with curing tape. Also, it is hidden and cannot be seen. The front of left and right sides of the bag are also fixed to the outside of the toilet bowl with curing tape. The drain lever is also taped to prevent someone from accidentally moving it. Attach a large and small bag. It's like putting another bag in a waterproof bag and putting the mouth of the bag on the top edge of the toilet bowl. At that time, make sure that the bag is in close contact with the inside of the toilet bowl. This is so that the excreted large and small amounts can be collected well at the bottom of the bag. For a male, it also prevents the penis from touching the bag. No curing tape is used to fix this large and small bag. It's difficult to peel it off later. Tilt the toilet seat to secure the end of the bag. The left is the state where the large and small bag is put in the waterproof bag and unfold it. The right is the state where the bag is held by the toilet seat. Toilet paper 
used after finishing large, small, or both will not solidify when coagulant is applied unless it is wet. Therefore, the small will make the entire paper wet well. To do this, stand up, raise the toilet seat, gently raise and lower the large and small bag, and let the small wet the toilet paper. By this method, the large can be submerged under the small, and the coagulant mixes evenly throughout the large and small, solidifies well, and is also useful for deodorization. Immediately afterwards, a deodorant spray is sprayed into the large and small bag to prevent the toilet from being filled with bad odors. Then sprinkle a spoonful of coagulant. If only the large is excreted, the coagulant will not work. So pour enough water, about 200 milliliter, to cover the large before adding the coagulant. It takes about three minutes for the coagulant to solidify. So wait. After solidifying, raise the toilet seat, squeeze the air from the bottom of the bag by hand, and tie it tightly twice at the bottom. At this time, there is still some warmth, large and small, and even if it solidifies, it is only in a gelatinous state. So at first, you may feel very disgusted with touching the bag. However, if you put up with it and repeat this process repeatedly, you will soon get used to it. It is essential to get used to a series of tasks because it is essential for daily life. Put a bag containing solidified large and small in a deodorant bag. Deflate the air and tie the mouth tightly. Put the deodorant bag in the filth container. It's a temporary storage. Put the deodorant bag on the inner tray of the filth container. When the sweet bin is full and you take it out of the toilet, take the internal tray of the sweet bin and transfer it to the storage can. Set up a new bag for the next user. Turn off the flashlights inside and outside the toilet. Remove gloves after getting out of the toilet. There are rules on how to remove it exactly, so follow the procedure. After removing the gloves, disinfect the fingers with an alcohol spray. It saves water, keeps hygiene, and gives you peace of mind. The whole family should practice and get used to the work procedure repeatedly. Once you get used to it, you can reduce discomfort and disgust. Disposal of excrement is not necessary in daily life before the earthquake, but it will be necessary daily from the day after the earthquake. In order to dispose of excrement hygienically, it is necessary to overcome disgust and make it a part of daily routine. And the whole family must be able to do it at the same level. If someone fails to process it, it will be very difficult to get rid of it. Even if it solidifies, it cannot completely stop corruption of large and small. Especially in the summer, large and small oat progresses quickly without a cooler. If the odor is bad, it is unavoidable to put the storage can 
in the shade outdoors. I have shown you how to use a coagulant to delay large and small spoilage and preserve it. It will take about a month for electricity and water to be restored and garbage collection to resume after the great earthquake. Until then, keep the large and small hygienic. In addition, properly stored excrement can be collected as general garbage in the same way as other garbage. The left is a foot-operated temporary storage box in the toilet, and the right is a 60-liter lidded can. A huge earthquake will definitely occur. Addressing toilet issue is absolutely necessary. If you turn away from saying that you don't like the disposable excrement because it is unpleasant, you will only be in trouble when faced with reality. The whole family needs to learn how to dispose of excrement properly and hygienically. It also creates physical and mental stability in the event of an earthquake. Thank you for your viewing.